Speaking of university, we talked a little bit about uh, some really good recipes that you might want to rely on in school. But in general, there are foods that are yes. going to help fuel your brain so you can get in there in that lecture. If you don't have that special pen Winston talked about, I know. you, you can still that? get the same great marks as the person that does have the pen mm -hmm. if you're eating this great food because yeah. it feeds your brain. Right, absolutely. So fatty fish, we hear all about this. It is so important. It makes you, uh, what does it do? Well, you know what, it's got essential fatty acids. And so we know that it, like, you can actually, they've done images of the brain. Yeah. And what happens after you eat things like flaxseed oil or fatty fish. Yeah. And it's unbelievable what happens with the brain, it, the activity, and how it makes your brain more alert. And of course it's got all kinds of other benefits. Yeah. Now, salmon, a lot of people don't realize salmon is one of the greatest fish oh, yeah. when it comes to fatty fish. Uh -huh. So they think they have to eat things like, you know, herring and sardines and because we hear about it all the time, right? right? But it's not the case. So salmon is so easy. You can get it canned. I mean, obviously, I would prefer you to do it fresh. Yeah. But here's the great thing for university students. You can get salmon quite inexpensively. You can put a nice topping on it of Dijon mustard, maybe a little bit of brown sugar and some nice mm -hmm. spices curry, and you can slice it into portions freeze it very easily and break them off when you want them. So again, mm -hmm. it's salmon is not only so fantastic for you, but why I love it is it can be a, a time saver. Yes, absolutely. Okay. okay, fruits and veggies. We all know this stuff is great, so getting it into your diet as much as possible yes. when you're in school is important. And you mentioned, you know, maybe put some broccoli in your mac and cheese. Uh, try and put some celery in your tuna yes. tetrazzini. Just try and sneak it in there as much as you can, right? Yes, and here's, I loved a study that I saw, and um, it was a long-term study, and Fruits and vegetables, of course, are heavy in vitamin C and E. They're mm -hmm. e vitamin C and E rich. So what they did was they looked at the recollection, word recollection, and a students, university students who ate more fruits and vegetables, 48% mm -hmm. more word recollection. So okay. it, it really, feeds really does. Memory. It feeds your memory. Mm -hmm. So fruits and vegetables, obviously, they have all kinds of other benefits, including hydration. Yeah. Because we're always worrying about drinking water. Yeah. So they'll hydrate you as well. Okay, Absolutely so essential. Fruits and veggies, eggs. I wish I ate more eggs when I was in university because it is the perfect food. It is the perfect food. It's unbelievable. Of course, it's got your omega-3s. Yeah. But what I love about this in particular is there's so many ways to use it. We showed quiche earlier on yeah. and you could make a lot of breakfast at one time. But it is so easy. It's tons of protein. <laughs> Look at it. It's, it's just, it's, 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 it's so easy. It's just, it's, it's, it's just, Perfect. Easy, yeah. And, and it's got lots of protein. It 155 good, like, calories. I thought it was 70 calories 155 in one of 155 calories in egg. Like in when one egg? Yeah. Oh, really? I thought it was like 80 calories. I used to be one of those people it's between that 70 and 155. Calories. No, I'm just <laughs> Somewhere in that Somewhere range. In that range. <laughs> but I mean, they're low in calorie. Yeah. They're low in calories. This is super low in calories. You can right. have it with a little bit of toast. You can have it with vegetables. You can make an omelet, cheese or no cheese. It doesn't matter. They're an easy food to prepare. And that is why I love them. I love that you love peanut butter. Okay, peanut because butter. I love peanut butter. Doesn't it have to be the, um, like the very organic sort of no sugar peanut butter. And here's how I feel about this. Remember, okay. I deal with families, okay, right. all the time. So I am all about making the family work as best yeah. it can. A lot of families are not gonna buy organic peanut butter. A yeah. lot of families are gonna buy the peanut butter they were raised with. That's what I do. Which has a lot of sugar in it. And it does have some sugar in it, but yeah. the benefits far outweigh anything. Good. Okay, so if you like the stuff you've gotta yeah. stir, and keep yeah. in the fridge with the oil that's gonna, you know, because it's gonna separate. And if you like that and you don't mind that, mm -hmm. and you can get organic, please go for it. Of course, that's always gonna be the first and best choice. Yeah. But don't not get the other, because the benefit, if you love the other and you're not gonna eat the organic one that you gotta stir. Yeah. Just get the peanut butter. It is actually got tons of B vitamins. The okay. stress vitamin. So not right. only has it got lots of protein and stabilizes your metabolism, boosts your immune system, makes you feel better, but it's got stress, the, all the stress vitamins in it okay, too. Okay, that is super vitamins. important. Yeah. Now, people might be shocked at the coffee that they coffee. see on this table. Well, what's good for your brain? Okay, what's interesting about the co a coffee is I love this. Journal of Alzheimer's Disease did a long-term study, and what they found, I'm just gonna read it off, okay, coffee yeah. boosts your memory. Okay. Drinking moderate amounts of coffee reduces your mental decline. Ooh. I was really surprised by that. Um, caffeine lovers 
generally feel better. Yeah. So they say in moderation, like everything. For sure. But they also did show a study, university students who drank three cups of coffee a day did better. Generally did better. Oh, that's good news. Thank Which you for weird. all those great tips. There you go. More